And here she Dang. goes. She's going back in. I'm she's like, in. <laughs> she really likes it. <laughs> Do you like bananas? Love bananas. Okay. So we're going to have that cream of Kentucky right there. Right, oh my right behind gosh. the camera. Bananas. Whoa. I, did, did you hear me say throw it? No, no I didn't. I, I but mean, it made me nervous. Yeah. Um,. Yeah, see, this is like a three hundred dollar bottle too. Ooh. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, the minute you said bananas, I'm like, hey, bananas in my bourbon, sign me up. Yeah, there's there's like a, a really prominent banana note here. All right. And it has all those other notes we kind of discussed. It's um, it's quite fascinating what this is. Now this is this was started by a gentleman who is uh, Cream of Kentucky was actually like a real prominent brand back you know, way back into the 30s and 40s. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Norman Rockwell actually did like these series of paintings in celebration at Cream of Kentucky. No way. And it, they're beautiful. Some of them look a little weird now because we looked at, we, we viewed things differently back then. Yeah. And then we do today, like you would not get a picture of an old man eating a chicken, like a close up That's today. True. Like no one wants to see that. Where are the paintings now? Uh, they were mostly published in like Life magazine, so you gotcha. could you could find them uh, like just in a simple like Google image search. But uh, yeah, they're some of the photos are kind of borderline creepy. Gotcha. But uh, or paintings anyway. And so uh, Jim Rutledge was this famed distiller. He was the master distiller for Four Roses, mm -hmm. and he left. He retired mm -hmm. and started to come back and you know start another brand in Cream of Kentucky. And so this is his stuff, and this is. Uh, this bourbon is 11 and a half years old. Wow. And I think you'll get a lot of those notes in there. And when you taste bourbon, so I'll just do a little quick little tutorial for you. When you when you smell bourbon, you want to bring it to your nose and open your mouth a little bit. So by doing that, you're actually not taking on the brunt of the alcohol. I totally smell bananas. And, yeah. <laughs> All right. You got it? All right. But only when I open my mouth. That's so crazy. You get more out of it when you do it, do it with your mouth closed. You're basically the alcohol is just kind of punching you right there on the mm -hmm. nose, and so you have to you have to like relax the olfactory a little bit. And so you smell it, get the bananas. You know I'm getting some vanilla. You know I definitely get the banana. There's some vanilla there. There's some like uh, some like oven like coming out of the oven like pie stuff. Anything anything Delicious. you're getting? I mean. It's like banana bread coming out of the nice. oven. Nice. Does this remind you of a song at all? Do you smell this? Do you mm, can't that's think a, of a song. good question. I mean, like Sweet Home Chicago. I don't know why. It's oh, like. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like that. Sweet Home Chicago. It feels good. It's warm and inviting. So here we go. Let's taste. Wow. That's amazing. It's good whiskey. It's so smooth. I really wow. do. Yeah. So that is Cream of Kentucky. 102 proof. Yeah. Could you Matt? Not wasting any time. Yeah. <laughs> and here she Dang. goes. She's going back in. I'm She's going like back in. <laughs> she really likes it. <laughs> Banana bread fresh out of the oven. Banana bread <laughs> fresh out of the oven.